Hey guys, this is Zach with ECS Tuning and today we're going to be doing an install of our ECS Street Coilovers on this Mark IV Jetta Wagon. Uh, it's going to be a pretty quick and easy install, so let's get right into it and take a look at the tools we're going to need to use. Alright, so we're at the right front or the passenger front of the car. We're going to be taking out this old, tired, OE style cup kit in favor of our coilovers. First thing we need to do to get these out is to remove our pinch bolt with a couple of 18s. Okay, so we chose to do this on the passenger side because it's a little bit more tricky than the driver side when removing OE suspension. Uh, as soon as you try to pull the knuckle down, you're going to run your CV shaft right into the subframe. As you can see, it's barely clearing as it is. Uh, so in order to correct that and get enough room to get the uh, shock and strut out, we need to disconnect the stabilizer and the inner CV flange. On our car, this is a 16. Okay, so now we're going to remove the six uh, M8 triple square flange bolts, and then we'll have a little slack on the axle. Okay, so to prevent stress in our brake line when we pull everything down, I'm going to pull the caliper off and hang it up by pulling out the slide pins with a 7mm Allen bit. Okay, we've got our caliper hung out of the way. We need to get our ABS sensor wire out of the way. Then pop the tie rod out of the knuckle and then we should have plenty of room to drop this control arm and get this thing out of here. Okay we got everything out of the way we're ready to spread the knuckle with the use of our handy Schwaben spreader tool so we'll just stick it into the uh, pinch slot at the back of the knuckle and turn it to spread it open and then I'll actually just pop the wrench off of it and leave it in there and we should be good to come down. All right, we're ready to zip off the top hat. Uh, we're gonna be using an impact. There's obviously gonna be a lot of variations in top hat fastener. Uh, this happens to be a 21. Uh, the top of the strut shaft is pretty beat up, so I'm just hitting it with an impact. There you have it. All right, the rears come out super easy. We just need to remove the upper strut mount, lower strut mount, and then pull out the spring. 16 millimeters everywhere, so top and bottom. All right, we're going to pull out the lower strut mount. And then the strut. And the spring. All right, we've got one of our front coilovers here. Nice powder-coated springs, black zinc-coated body, and uh, red anodized perches. They look great. We're about to install part of our uh, install kit or refresh kit uh, that we assemble. You can check out a uh, link to this kit in the description below. So we're about to install the front portion of that. So first, we're going to take off the nylock nut off the coilover. You can see the blue nylon in there. Uh, then after that, you'll notice there's just a standard hex nut. And we just use that as like a jam nut for shipping. So you can actually just go ahead and throw that away. Uh, so now you're going to take your strut bearing, strut mount, and then the taper nut. Put these together in that order. And then we're going to need to uh, torque down the taper nut with a torque wrench and an Allen wrench. But to do that, we're going to have to put this thing in the vise. So let's walk over to the vise. Okay, so we got in the vise and we're about ready to torque it down to 44 foot-pounds. Um, while we're at it, well, I should probably mention two things. One, a quarter-inch extension works pretty good as a uh, cheater bar on the end of a 7 millimeter key. Uh, and two, if your stock stuff is in good shape, you can absolutely swap over the stuff from uh, whatever you're pulling off your car, as long as it's still in good shape, uh, as far as the strut bearing and strut mount and stuff are concerned. But now we've got this torque down to 44 foot-pounds. Let's go slap it in. Okay, so as a favor to your future self, it's always a good idea to put a little anti-seize in the knuckle uh, so that the strut will come out without too much, uh, too much trouble next time you need to remove your suspension. Okay, now we're ready to slap this thing in. Um, so first we're going to put it up into the uh, strut tower and then drop that top hat and then put on our nylock nut. Okay, so we've got our coilover loosely installed in the strut tower. Um, we've got anesthesia in our knuckle. 
Uh, we've got 30 threads showing here as just kind of a baseline, uh, just so we know where we're at once we put it on the ground. Uh, and then we can obviously adjust from there. But uh, so now we're gonna try to install the coilover back into the knuckle. You need to make sure that your alignment tab is aligned with the uh, pinch slot in the back of the knuckle. And you need to make sure that whatever you disconnected for us, the uh, inner CV flange is lining back up as you reinstall everything. So we're gonna be using a, uh, a trans jack down here to lift this up and slide it all together, but uh, it should go in pretty easily. Lined up. Okay, so we got the coil over fully seated in the knuckle. Now we're ready to slap the pinch bolt back in with its corresponding nut. And now we'll take out, finally, the Schwaben spreader tool, which has done a great job for us. All right, we're gonna torque down our new pinch bolt to 44 foot-pounds, and then it'll need another 90 degrees, but we'll do that a little bit later. Okay, so I'm tightening up the new uh, flange bolts at the uh, inner CV flange. Uh, we're gonna tighten them in a star pattern. We're gonna tighten them up to 10 Newton meters first and then go up to 40 Newton meters or 30 foot pounds uh, in the same star pattern. Then once we get those tightened up, we're gonna move out and reinstall the sway bar end link, the tie rod and the brake caliper. And then I think that pretty much wraps up the front. All right, now we're gonna get that 90 degrees out of the uh, pinch bolt we were talking about, and then we're gonna go up top and torque down the uh, top hat. All right, we're about to uh, torque this thing down to 44 foot-pounds again. 44 foot-pounds pretty much across the board on these things. I might need my quarter inch. Okay, so we're about ready to put the rears in, but first we need to take off the strut mount. We need to get the bump stop out because we're gonna reuse that, and we're actually gonna get rid of the dust cover. We are gonna trim the bump stop as well. Uh, we could reuse the, the uh, shock mount if we wanted to, but we're actually gonna replace it with one of our nice ECS tuning heavy duty mounts that are another part of the install kit. Um, so yeah, we just need to uh, go over to the vise, zip this off, and get this thing ready to go in. Okay, so we're gonna zip off the old strut mount with a 16. Okay, we're about to trim the bump stop. Uh, you could probably use a razor blade for this, but uh, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna slide the bump stop on, then the shock mount, bottom it out. Then we've got our new nylock nut. It's a 17 and it needs to be torqued to 18 foot-pounds. However, to be honest, I don't have a 17 millimeter strut nut socket uh, handy right now. So I'm gonna kind of trust myself and do it by feel. Um, but if you have a way to torque this at home, I recommend doing so. Okay, we're gonna transfer the dust cap and the isolator from the old stuff. And then this stuff is ready to install. Uh, we're gonna install the spring first. So as far as the perch is concerned, We've got 25 threads showing, or we're flush at the top. Uh, the spring is gonna go flat side onto the perch. So we're gonna put the spring in, then the shock, and then we should be ready to put this thing down. All right, we're gonna put the perch in, pla in place first. Set her down. This is an 18. Let me get it good and tight. Should we fully crush that lock washer? All right, we're gonna put the rear shock absorber in. I'm gonna put the uh, upper mount bolts in place uh, first. I'm just gonna kind of finger tighten them, uh, and then we will jack up the axle beam to meet up with the uh, lower shock mount. Okay, slip that through there. Now, this lower bolt needs to be torqued to 44 foot-pounds, but we need to do it at ride height, so we'll do that in a little bit. First, we're gonna torque the upper mount bolts 
to 55 foot pounds. All right, we've got the wheels back on, got the car down on blocks. Now I'm just torquing down this lower shock mount to 44 foot pounds. All right, so we got this thing back on the ground. It is looking pretty proper. Uh, so I hope this video helped you guys with your own install. And if you wanna check out these coilovers or the install kit, check out the links in the description below. And for anything else, just go over to ecstuning.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys on the next one.